Hey, David. Could I just get your Crawford Porter pick yeah, before you get on out of here, brother? Yeah. All right, man. David, man, how do you see uh, the big fight this Saturday now that your fight's over, Crawford Porter? Now I could relax and actually think about other fights. It's good. Uh, yeah. I think Crawford's going to get him, bro. I think it's not going to be an easy fight because Porter is a tough, rugged fighter. But I think Crawford, he uses good, the ring really good. His IQ is really good. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. You know, um, I think you can't, you can't count Porter out because every time you count him out, he does even better what they expect. Like you see with Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, Ugas, you know what I mean? So it's definitely going to be a good fight, but I got Crawford. Yeah, you, you know, obviously you were there in Omaha when your brother gave him his toughest fight of his career. What's Sean got to do if he can pull it off? He just got to be himself, but just times 10, you know what I mean? He, had, he, can't let, he can't let Crawford box at all. He has to back him into the rings, and he has to do that. And he, like I said, there's a good chance he wins because you see, uh, what's the guy's name? The Russian guy that... that mean Machine. Mean Kaviasta. Machine. You see, he was kind of using that, and he kind of rocked Crawford in the first round, but... You know what I mean? It's going to be a good fight. Both those fight fighters are solidified fighters, great world champions. It's, it's going to be a banger. Anything you remember that was like underrated about Sean when you sparred him? Or I don't, it was, The sparring was different, you know, because, I mean, yeah, that's what I knew about him. His pressure was crazy, but like, I'm a bigger, I'm way bigger fighter, you know what I mean? So how he would hurt somebody else, it wouldn't really hurt me because obviously I fucking outweighed him for like 50 pounds. Right. But he does have really good pressure. That's what I'm saying. His pressure could really help him. And uh, lastly, just on that fight, man, uh, Crawford's a great counter puncher. What do you do to succeed against the counter what, what do you do to find success against that kind of A lot of pressure and a lot of body shots. And I think it's a, a lot of catch and shoot. You throw, so sometimes you throw stuff to make him throw something, and you, so to make him counter, and you counter the counter. But it is, it's harder than than it sounds, bro. So that's, you really have to be on point with everything. But and I think the pressure in the body shots. Pressure in the body shots. Hey, brother, you were fun to watch tonight. You're one of the funnest guys to watch. Uh, you and Canelo, Morales Barrera at yeah. 168. I think that I think that's what is going to happen, bro. I think that's what it's looking down to. I mean, it, it makes me happy, too. A lot of people doubt me. But, you know, I know you see it, bro. When, I, you, when I'm in the, in, the, in the ring with these fighters, how, how do they look after they, they lose their will and they lose their spirit as the fight goes on and on? And I can keep that pressure on all night. You know what I mean? And I'm not I'm not just a fucking reckless fighter going in there and get hit. You know, people think I get hit, but I really don't get hit like that. I'm blocking all the shots, you know what I mean? And and I land at a super crazy pre fucking uh, percentage rate. I think tonight, I think I heard him say I was like at 60%. Well, they said... My last fight was at 50, and the one before that was at 52. So, I mean, it was, it was pretty crazy. I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So, I, I know this fight's going to be good with me and Canelo. So, hopefully this happens. Yeah, you put in a fight night round three connect percentage numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, the respect from him was apparent in the first yeah, round. Yeah, he, he was, was moving a lot, yeah. but I feel like because he didn't have condition, too, he couldn't keep it up. But respect for him, too. Kyron Davis, him and his team, they're, they're all they're outstanding guys. and I respect anybody who's in the ring like that, you know what I mean? Because I know how hard it is, too. I only do this because you let me, but you were catching everything tonight on the gloves. Yeah. But you got great reflexes, man. Where was that? Where was, you know? Uh, you didn't need it. You yeah, didn't need yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were some <laughs> shots that he fucking throwing and I would pull him you back. Did? But I gotta, I gotta definitely work on that more. I de definitely gotta work. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna say I do everything good. I definitely gotta work on that more. A lot of stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, mean, I feel like the next fight you guys see me, I'm gonna be a completely different fighter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna be a better defensive fighter. I'm mean, still gonna be a good offensive fighter, but I, I want this. I wanna, I wanna change myself and make myself better. You know? Yeah, all around. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when do you think you'll be back in the ring, David? Hopefully by. March or May. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they got planned and got stored for me. So we'll see what happens. Fuck it. Maybe Colmain of Canelo. If you ain't I'm, I'm down. Sure, I'm down. We can fight Anthony Durrell again. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm down. Thanks, Whatever. David. Congrats to you, brother. Appreciate you. Always bro. great to see Appreciate you, man. You. Yep. Bro, I mean, Thanks, man.